Well, hi, everybody. It's David Zink along with Kim Pearsall. We're here to mind your business for a Thursday. How are you doing today, Kim? Doing pretty good. How are you doing, Dave? Uh, well, you just yawned. I'm thinking you're doing, you were doing pretty good last night, so you're a little tired today. I, I know. I could. It's been a long week. It's, it's been only a, been four days, but it's been a long week. It has been a long four days. So what do you got on the slate today, Kim? Well, besides entering in a lot of data into spreadsheets, um, we are working on a couple stories tomorrow. Dining, a Citrus City Grill over at Riverside Plaza has uh, left, and essentially they've been forced out of Riverside Plaza, and they're looking at spaces in downtown Riverside. Um, also, Labor, uh, Winco, the distribution hub in Beaumont, uh, it was uh, announced about three months ago that Winco would be buying a space there, and that really won't create create jobs for a while though and we'll explain why. Okay, first up we have Citrus City Grill, a kind of posh, high-end restaurant that's been in the in the uh, uh, Riverside Plaza since they reopened after the big remodel, right. and now they're leaving. Well, and it's been a lot of things. So it's a white tablecloth restaurant, but then they also do quite a few happy hours as of late, and they tried to have club nights and that type of thing. So it, it's been a, an amalgam of sorts uh, for a restaurant chain. They're based in Orange County, and uh, you're correct. They opened up at Riverside Plaza when it reopened. They also have a location in Corona at Dos Lagos. And um, uh, Tiffany Ray, our retail reporter, has been looking into this, and apparently they filed for bankruptcy twice. Um, and just recently, I think both of those cases were dismissed, um, and they can't file for bankruptcy again in another 120 days or so. Um, but what has happened is that Riverside Plaza had um, uh, put some kind of legal uh, document uh, their way, since a legal document their way, and uh, they filed for bankruptcy not long after. And this was last year. They hadn't paid their rent. And so they are no longer at Riverside Plaza, um, and they are going to be looking at spaces in downtown Riverside. So apparently they're negotiating with folks right now in the redevelopment agency to move into the old Bicorium space, which was a salon and spa. Um, but we'll see if that happens. And that's right across from the Mission Inc., correct? Correct. Yeah, it's a fantastic Good location. location. Right. It's Main Street and 6th Street. Um, and the Bicorium space is pretty large. Um, and it's also across the street from Crescent Jewel, which yes. is another restaurant. Right. And then Simple Simon's, uh, just a couple um, uh footsteps away. And Graham's Mission Barbecue right down the way. Right. But again, they're still in the negotiation phase with uh, downtown Riverside. I think they're hoping to uh, eventually move into that space in November, but who knows if Riverside is going to uh, uh, accept their plan and uh, so forth. So we'll see if that happens. But as of right now, they are no longer Riverside Plaza. Well, even with the doors open for that period of time, that must really uh, take a dent, you know, put a dent in your business and also, you know, the viability of the business the longer you're out of business, you know, the harder it is to get back to it. So we'll have to wait and see what they do, but uh, we'll move on from here. So next we got Labor, the Winco Hub out in Beaumont. I heard you guys chattering about that yesterday. I didn't quite understand it, so maybe you can clear it up. Right. Well, uh, Jack uh, Katzenick, our uh, labor reporter and commercial real estate reporter, is looking into Winco uh, because Winco, the, the grocer, had come in about three months ago and announced that they were purchasing land to build a two million square foot uh, distribution hub. So it's a very large distribution center. It's uh, being built by Prologis uh, out there in Beaumont. So it's a pretty familiar site if you've ever driven the 60 to the 10 and that whole interchange area. And so um, they had announced this three months ago, and I think a lot of people have been calling into our, uh, our Beaumont reporters' uh, phone and whatnot to ask if there's any jobs available. Uh, well, there aren't going to be jobs for quite some time, apparently, because they're not going to start building this distribution hub, or at least moving into this distribution hub, until they build more stores. And it doesn't sound like that's on their trajectory in the near future. Well, I know a lot of people that like Winco, um, kind of the big box store, I guess you'd say, much like a what's it, food for less type of place. Right? Exactly. Extremely affordable when you're looking at uh, price comparisons. And bag your own stuff kind of situation. So right. Pretty good situation. Well, that's it for today. We, that's Sorry all we got to say. Sorry to end a down note, I yeah. know. Yeah. But two down notes. We got a restaurant going away. We got Winco not coming in. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. And Lewis isn't around because he's down with Carly Fiorina down there in the convention center uh, talking to civic leaders and obviously business leaders in uh, Riverside. So we'll have to hear about that. But if you want to check that out, I think that's going to be live on PE.com sometime this afternoon. Uh, but uh, for Kim Pearsall, I'm David Zink. It's Thursday. We'll see you again tomorrow, Kim, and uh, reminding everybody here to uh, mind your business.